You know, the elections, the runoff elections will be held in just six days in some Hines County legislative seats. Some of those are headed for round two. The Mississippi District 69 is among them. The top two vote getters aiming to take over the longtime representative Alice Clark's seat have public, uh, have, uh, public safety, health care, and infrastructure among their priorities. Both are hoping voters will take their respective experience into account. We must understand the ramifications of Bill 1020, what, what will impact the citizens of this capital city. We want to fully fund our educational system, traditional education, meaning our public schools that have been around for many years. Expanding Medicaid. We want Medicaid expansion to be for all Mississippians, where we create jobs, we quit closing down hospitals. I've been doing the work. <laughs> I'm on the ground. Um, what separates me is my passion. Uh, my energy. Voter empowerment, uh, creating um, economic development to assist with infrastructure, adequate funding for our school systems and accessible and affordable health care. I have the legislative experience. I was afforded the opportunity by my aunt, the late Senator Alice Varnado Harden, to work for the Mississippi Legislature. There, I gained the one-on-one -on -one insight knowledge about how a bill truly becomes a law. Runoffs will be held on August 29th. Uh, coming up in 12 News at 6, we're going to be hearing what the candidates in District 66 have to say about the runoffs.